Hey Astro Kids and welcome back. And in today's video, we will be talking about what it looks like to have your natal moon within the sign of Pisces. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Like our previous videos, we will not get into the Noxatras into great depth, but we will briefly cover the Noxatras that are falling within this moon sign. But before we can even talk about what the moon in Pisces is all about, we have to understand what does the moon represent and what does the sign of Pisces represent, and then put these two together. So what is the moon? The moon is representing our mind. So the moon is our emotions, our thoughts. It is the way that we perceive everything. The moon is our intuition, our imagination. It is also controlling the patterns and cycles of our life. So the moon is constantly changing and fluctuating, which is giving us a very accurate idea of what our life patterns are looking like. Now the moon is also representing the mother. And so the moon is the ruler of the sign of Cancer, which is our original fourth house of the zodiac. And so the moon is also about nourishment and comfort. This is including emotional comfort and financial comfort as well. It is our material security. Now, what is the sign of Pisces all about? Pisces is the 12th and final sign of the zodiac. It is the culmination of all 11 signs. And so Pisces is the ending and the beginning. It is all things and nothing at the same time. Pisces is the original 12th sign of the zodiac, connecting it to the 12th house, which is our house of completion, endings, losses, surrender, sacrifice, charity. Pisces is all about compassion and unconditional love. It is connected to the spirit world and the dream world. Pisces is taking us out of this physical reality. And so Pisces is a very spiritual and very sensitive sign. This is also a sign that is controlled by Jupiter. And so it is a sign that is very good natured, has very good morals, is very much ethical and disciplined. Pisces is also a mutable sign. It is a dual sign. So it is adaptable, flexible, changeable. Pisces is a water sign, making it very imaginative, very intuitive, very emotional and empathetic. And so Pisces is a very deep and sensitive sign that takes us within the depths of the psyche. It is connected to the spiritual world and our spiritual practices. That 12th house is also about foreign places. And so Pisces is also a sign that is connected to travel and deep wisdom and philosophy. It is the natural teacher of the Zodiac. The 12th house is also connected to our hidden talents and gifts. And so Pisces is a very artistic sign as well. It is gifted with lots of talents and skills both mystical and artistic in nature. And so this is a sign that is also naturally inclined towards art, music, healing, nature. It is a sign that is connected to our natural gifts and talents, the things that we are naturally inclined towards without any sort of practice. So this is embedded within our psyche, within our soul. This is coming from past life. And so this is also connected to our previous lifetimes as well as our ancestors. Now, what happens when we put the moon within the sign of Pisces? Well, first we have to understand that the moon has a certain relationship with all of the planets. And so the moon is great friends with Mercury and the sun and sees all other planets as neutral. And so the moon is having a neutral relationship to Jupiter. Why is this important? Because Pisces is controlled by the planet Jupiter, which is all about our wisdom, our education, our spirituality, our luck, our expansion in life. It is also connected to children, to a spouse in a female's chart, 
Jupiter is the most benevolent of all of the planets. And so with the moon having a neutral relationship to Jupiter, this is telling us that the moon in Pisces is neutral. This can go either way. This can be negative or positive. And so we especially have to look at what is going on with the moon. Is it receiving any planetary aspects? Is it sitting with any planets? What house is it in? What noxatra is it in? We also have to understand what is going on with the condition of Jupiter. So all of these are going to come into play. So what is happening generally with this placement of the moon in Pisces? Well, when the moon comes into the sign of Pisces, this is showing that the mind is going to be focused on spirituality as well as artistic fields of expression. The moon once again is representing the mind, our emotions, our thoughts, our intuition, our imagination. And so here in the deep waters of Pisces, we have an intense amount of imaginative powers. This gives great artistic skills. We can find some of the most famous artists here within this position. This is also a position that can give someone extreme devotion towards their faith as well. Once again, Pisces is controlled by Jupiter, which is connected to our religion. So this can make someone highly religious. Along with that, this is a position that can give very intense intuition. These are people who are very deep and insightful. Here, the mind is coming into Pisces where the understanding of the world in general is coming from a very spiritual and imaginative place. And so the intellect here is very different where this is about understanding everything intuitively, seeing the bigger picture, having the wisdom, the insight, rather than the practical understanding. Because of this lack of seeing things in a practical way, this can also give a bit of laziness or an escape from routine. There is more of this in tunement with the spiritual, with the metaphysical, with the things that are beyond the physical plane. And so those with this position do very well in artistic fields, do very well in fields where there is some sort of spirituality or some sort of artistic field involved with this. Also, there's a strong desire for comfort. We also talk about Pisces being connected to that 12th house, which is about bed pleasures. And so here there is a desire to have peace and comfort in all situations in life. The disturbance of the energy and of one's peace in this position can bring about a lot of stress and anxiety. And so here this is all about the peace the empathy, the compassion. There is a strong level of empathy here with the moon coming into the sign of Pisces. If we look at a chart of those who have their moon in the sign of Pisces, there in the fifth house, we will find the sign of Cancer, where this expression of love, compassion, empathy is very strong. This also gives an individual who is very good with children. There's a strong attachment to children, to animals. The energy here is very peaceful. It is very loving. It is very protective. These are individuals who make very good partners as well. Very understanding, very receptive. Now, the danger of this placement is in being too understanding and too accepting of others. Here in the sign of Pisces, there is a lack of judgment, a lack of ego, where there is a strong level of sympathy and empathy for others. And so those with this position have to be careful of who you are allowing into your circle. There's a high level of sensitivity, especially with the moon being here, which is very emotional, very intuitive. And so here you can easily be taken advantage by others. It is important to pay attention to who you are around and who you are being influenced by. So let's go ahead and take a look at the three Noxatras that are falling within the sign of Pisces. This is our next step to understanding the moon in Pisces, as there are three Noxatras here within the sign of Pisces that are all behaving differently. And so this is also an important step to understanding those zodiac signs. 
each zodiac sign is 30 degrees long. And so not everyone falling within the sign are going to behave in the same way. Now we will not talk about these Noxatras in great depth today, but you also have to understand that there are quarters that are falling within these Noxatras as well that differentiate these traits and qualities even further. So the first Noxatra falling within the sign of Pisces is known as Porva Bhadrapada. And this is a Noxatra that starts off within the sign of Aquarius and continues here into the sign of Pisces. This Noxatra is known as the Scorching Pear and it is symbolized by two faces or two swords. And so there's a duality to this Noxatra. Here, there is a tendency to be one way in public and to do something different in private. And so many of you with this Noxatra may have a hidden gift or talent that you keep from the world. And so there is a tendency of having this very mysterious nature where others end up finding out something about you that is very unusual, very strange, very different. Here within this Noxatra, it also gives a strong inclination towards being a humanitarian, towards helping others, standing up for those in need. So the empathy is very high here, especially within the Pisces portion of this Noxatra. Now, those of you falling within the second Noxatra of Pisces are falling under Uchra Bhadrapada. This is a very spiritual and mystical Noxatra as it is symbolized by the serpent at the greatest depths. And so this Noxatra is all about the Kundalini energy. Here there's a strong connection towards spirituality and the mystical arts. This is also a very practical and stable Noxatra. And so here, even though we have this strong spirituality and this daydreaminess, there is also a strong ability to pay close attention to details, to be very analytical, and to have this very deep and profound wisdom and natural understanding of life in general. The last Noxatra falling within the sign of Pisces is known as Ravati. This is the wealthy star. And here within this Noxatra, this is symbolized by a fish. And so these are the true Pisces individuals. These are the daydreamers, the individuals who are very imaginative, very deep, very much lost into the inner world. And so there's a lot of deep wisdom, a lot of artistic talents and skills that are here within this Ravati Noxatra. This is also a Noxatra that can bring about a lot of wealth. And this can be the wealth of wisdom and knowledge. But we also see this a lot with famous individuals who are very wealthy as well. And so this can attract a lot of abundance and prosperity. So this has been my interpretation of what it looks like to have your natal moon within the sign of Pisces. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like as well as a comment. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. If you have any additional thoughts or questions, go ahead and leave it down below. Anything that you'd like me to bring up in a future video regarding Vedic astrology, leave it down below and I will get back to you. I want to thank you all so much for joining. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video.